Hello everyone and welcome back to Reentry, where during the 52nd anniversary of Apollo 11, I livestream myself on Twitch conducting the mission. I did so while listening to the mission in real time from ApolloInRealTime.org, uh, though the events will not match up exactly with the mission audio unfortunately. And we are approaching the part where I have not done any of this before in the game, in the simulation, and so I needed to go through some tutorials. And the first tutorial I need to do is optics, and then I also need to refresh my SPS burn planning. Unfortunately, things don't go quite right, as you will see, but I had an alternate plan just in case things did not work right uh, for getting into orbit around the moon. So this video is covering getting into orbit around the moon. We need the optics in order to do star tracking so that we can align our spacecraft pro properly. But there are alternate methods for that, thankfully, as we will find out. But anyway, uh, so here we go with the live stream audio uh, just from today. The optic subsystem is composed of a scanning telescope and a sextant used to determine the position and attitude of the spacecraft in relation to the stars. Scops scopes can be used as a periscope to the crew, uh, modify or correct the reference platform that describes you or what. <laughs> Spelling, spelling, stores a stable platform. The FDAIs show your attitude relative, attitude relative to this platform. Uh, it's not easy to know what's up and what's down when you are in space. Y yeah. Makes it, okay, 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 I know about the up and down bit. Mm, uh, I am you. Orbital, we, we're on a schedule here. Panel 121, that's down there. How, how did we get lights on in here? Well, I've got my flashlight, but I think there's some other light that we can turn on, right? Sexton has a view of 1.8 degrees, wow. Set the mode to manual. Set the speed to medium. Um, yep, that, that's not working. I'm trying to right click to push it down. That's still... Am I not right click not working? Nope, right click is working. That thing is just busted. Oh no, now it works. <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe it just needed a reminder that right click was a thing. All right, then set the SCT to be slaved. I don't like that. Anyway, um, uh, to the, okay. Make the SCT follow the X, okay, the, well, whatever. To move the scopes, you can use the slew input keys. By default, set to control arrow. The scopes are controlled by pitching the trunnion and rolling the shaft. Okay, so there's only pitch and roll. Okay. So we have to use a combination of roll and pitch to yaw basically then. There's Orion. That's the only thing I recognize. <laughs> oh dear. Gotta be in trouble. Uh, okay, returned here. Yeah, uh, mission pad, checklist. Would be good if they didn't duplicate checklists, okay. Find the star list. Each star has a name and an index. The index is important. Star map is also available for reference. Uh, where is the star map then? Map? <laughs> uh, stars, okay. That's not the best star map. <laughs> uh, that's really hard to look at. Yeah, well, I found Orion, so I'll, we'll see. Notice a few stars had a blue halo around them. Oh, no, I didn't. Some bright stars that are sort of bluish. Yeah, I guess that's what they're talking about. 
Okay. You will see the name of it, the star in its ID. Rigel. Okay, there we go. Beetlejuice is not allowed. All right, Rigel. Fine. And Boo. The sextant is. Oh wow. Okay. It's moving. Don't move. Speed to low and moving to... Okay, speed to low. But then we're sort of moving. Use to al align the IMU. Ask you to mark two pre-selected stars based on your known orientation. You can choose to follow the suggestions or just mark another star and let AGC know the index of it. Requires you to follow checklists, but once you know the process, it's easier. Okay, open the checklist. If option three, select go to eight. Guess that's this one. Wow. Oh, okay, uh, they've got the uh, nicer checklist. Oh, they're talking. Uh, well, we, we should be fine. Optics is on. Okay. That's now no six. The balance of the pad is NA. All edge. Two jets, nineteen seconds. Yes. DEI four pad. SPS GNN. Three eight six five eight. Zero yes. Zero five four plus zero six five. Checklist code 15. Yep. Is there visual and exit the... Uh, okay. That was uh, Buzz Aldrin with the readback of that information. Okay. Plan star to mark is 14. Canopus. Which star are you? Canopus. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay. That was easier than would probably be helpful for... Okay, so computer, what are you doing? Computer's stuck. Oh, now it's not verb 51. Wow, it needed a lot of proceeds. Okay, let me mark the star. We keep shifting. All right, whatever. Mark. Mark. Okay, this is completely different. This is Apollo. Program alarm. Twenty-four hours, eight minutes. Apollo eleven is four thousand six hundred twenty-five nautical miles away. Acceptable star pair not available. Well, why did it suggest that one in the first place? Okay, we're gonna try star four. We're gonna try star four. All right. What is star four? Akinar. Akinar's there. Okay. So we were at Canopus, and we wanted to get to Akinar. Hey, Earth. Right, so this is... 
I can't move anymore. Oh, shoot. Uh, you mean physically pitch up. Yeah, okay. We are doing that then. Problem solved. <laughs> well, changing your orientation in order to get the star tracked is not the ideal thing, but... Ideally, they'd suggest a star that doesn't require the RCS. That's what they communicate about, you know, when Mission Control says you'll have star this available, that's so that you don't have to use RCS. That's Arkanar. Okay. Okay. We'll take that. Okay. So, this we can proceed on? Because, again, I've... ...passed that part. So, verb... I mean, uh, noun 71 is just confirming star 4? Angular error or difference? Zero. So, I can proceed on this, right? That's probably a lie, by the way. There's probably some angular error difference. Okay, fine. Uh, Alright. I think we proceed on this as well. Oh, no, it didn't like that. Uh, now, that's the gyro angles. Okay, except for C, gyros torqued. Okay. All right. Uh, 14. But that's not asking for it. We just proceed on this. I think. Okay. Proceed. Well, it's got computer activity. It's making me restart the whole thing? Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna look through all the things here. Well, that's all it's got for me. So, you know what? Um, I'm going to go to the SPS propulsion tutorial and look at that. I don't think it's got any more information for me. Let me put that put that way. We're on a tight schedule here. We'll uh, just have to figure it out when we load the state and see if it works when we're in the mission. It'd be helpful if the tutorial actually told me something that wasn't in the checklist. <laughs> like, oops, you did this wrong. Try this. It's not a tutorial unless it Gives you something that isn't in the checklist. Orbital trajectory, roger. DSM burn planner. Okay, phase angle 40. Well, what is the orbital phase in relation to? It'd be nice if it's in relation to... Our periapsis. Zero. Okay, zero is the periapsis. So, screw you. I'm doing with the periapsis. That's exactly what we will want. Phase angle can be any value. Fine, fine. Uh, next value of velocity change of the burn we want to make. I can actually calculate the burn for the moon. And let me just see. For the moon, our initial burn, we should do about 800 meters per second, but just to be safe so that we don't crash into the surface, but still capture, I'm gonna aim for a burn of 700 meters per second, which should be fine. It'll guarantee a capture, but it also guarantees that we won't crash. So that's 2,296, say 2,300 feet per second. 
So that's how much we would be doing. Now, if we do that around Earth right now, we would crash if we did it retrograde, so we'll do it prograde. So. Well, too bad. Request. I'm doing something completely different. Okay. Except the burn in the AGC. Probably this this might not work around the moon though. We'll see. Today is orbital insertion, yes. In about two hours well, now one hour and a bit. This is Apollo. Okay, for thirty-seven enter thirty. Enter. Alright. Such as the tool that we just used. Okay. Expect 06, now 33. Time of ignition. So that's kind of down. The time to ignition is this third field. So it happens to be 3,700 seconds, exactly. Sometimes the time is shown as minutes and seconds. This time it's just in pure seconds. I hope it's saying 2,299.2, not 22,992. 11, this is Houston. Radio check over. Apogee and perigee after the burn. That doesn't make any sense if we're going prograde. Maybe that's the next one. Okay, I think it's the next one that... Okay, this is the... That still doesn't make any sense to me. Now this is showing minutes and seconds in field two. Um, how do I cancel a burn? Pro to cancel a burn? Okay, that puts us in poo. Alright. Um, let me try that again. Why did it show a negative periapsis then? Hmm. When I put zero, yeah, it doesn't show a negative periapsis here. Estimated burn length, uh, three minutes though. What we really need to do is to be able to start and shut down the engine, and the rest is gravy, really. That makes more sense. Okay, that that's fine then. Um, oh, run. Hold on. Whoa. He is coming around with a high gain attitude, though. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to get him. I mean, run off. program. Uh. We've only got three minutes. I mean, I should have run the program a little bit earlier. We wanted to roll right plus 60, but the city was in to 58 degrees. I, I don't think that's what you wanted, but we're, we're on program 40. Oh, here it tells me. I wanted poo. I did that. A flashing, okay, 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 here we go. We're not out of the thing yet. Proceed. Okay. Values. All registers should be zero. Nope. We are going to prograde though. But they aren't all zero. Well. I think, I don't know if the second field was roll orientation or something. Anyway, let's see. Seems to be where it needs to go anyway. 
Cheer fiddles around a whole lot more than SAS does. Two oh four. Proceed. Now I'm forty is counting down to the burn. I think we've already passed the burn point. On panel one. Where are we? Oh. Oh, that's important. Well, we're probably already past it. But okay, that'll do for now. We'll try loading the state and see what happens. Then we're SOI. This is Apollo Control. It's 75 mm -hmm. hours, 15 minutes into the mission. Apollo 11's distance from the moon now is 15... I think I messed it up completely. Miles, 1, okay, well, I'm actually going to load the state. I think there's something fundamentally wrong there now. Okay, now that's still not... Oh, that's programmed. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's right. That's right. Okay. I'll keep that in there. I'll just try the P-52 again and... We'll uh, pick different stars. Well... Well, okay, now we got noun six. Okay, good. Okay, verified that. We have to get super duper duper close to it to be able to flick that. I'll probably need my flashlight on. Okay, click on the scope. Exit the scope. Okay. And then set the optics mode to middle and just proceed okay back to the computer click proceed oh no that was just clearing it it's Akinar again well shoot uh, I want Rigel okay verb 51 is flashing Okay, speed is mid, uh, we are on manual, alright. Maybe I should have reconsidered the Rigel thing, because <laughs> we might have to turn the spacecraft to do that. I wonder if I can change it to 45 now, or whether I have to start the program again. Okay, I think I can modify the star ID after marking it. Okay, well that's as close as it gets. Okay, so that's full mohawk. Alright. All right. And let's see... Computer? No. I'm gonna modify it. That's actually 45. Okay. It wants me to mark star 2. That seems fine. I have not seen Difta before. Well, it's pretty close to Akamara and Akinar and all that business, so can't be too hard. Difta, it's right there. I feel like the ones close to Earth might. I don't know. Maybe the computer doesn't like them as much. Okay, marked. Okay. Okay. 
I think it was verb 51 flashing was what it wanted to say there. Okay, proceed. Apollo 11, this is Houston, over. Okay, proceed. Angle difference. Okay, let me just go through this. That's the angle difference, except... And it says, one proceed, two proceed, three proceed. Okay, well, now it's got computer activity. I I don't know what this is. Let me see what the further information in here says. I really, really aimed at them properly. It's as good as I can get it. Uh, no, let's... Hold on, maybe it says something. It's definitely less than 0 0.03 degrees. It was zero. <laughs> uh, So, I did it pretty darn well. Let's see. I think we just say accept proceed. But now it's back to the main menu, if you will, I think. For program 52. Well, let's see what the preferred... Align the IMU to the preferred orientation. We are on this menu. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we'll try this. Uh-oh, that's a lot of numbers. <laughs> Uh, verify that slashing. Okay. Oh, it's on poo. Okay. Well, I don't know. I think we're ultimately going to have to verify based on other things. <laughs> 13 minutes and 30 seconds to ignition. Well, I think we're going to have to time warp a bit. Houston, you want to give me a time check, please? I don't know how we're oriented. Wait, doesn't it seem like that's the daylight side? I think we might be in luck. Well, also, that's completely wrong, right? <laughs> I mean... Because they wanted the landing location to be daylight on July 20th. We're arriving too early. But that shouldn't be so different that the side that is lit is completely different. I think the sim might not have the right side of the moon lit at the right time. I don't know. At the wrong side? No, this is the right way around. And this is the way around that they have to go. They go retrograde around the moon. And this is obviously the far side of the moon here. I mean, obviously. So yeah, I think the sim is just a little bit off. That's a funny sound they've discovered. Okay, we're under one hour from the burn. Let me try and get the burn set up if that's possible. We're three minutes away from life. No guarantees. Am we expecting that? Okay, proceed. That's the Delta V. That's not really the Delta V I set. I wanted 3,200. That will be fine. This is the Delta V I set. That's fine. Okay. And now we're counting down 54 minutes. All right, that's okay. The deorbit burn checklist must have this whole procedure, I think. I don't care about most of these things. 
I just need to be able to start the engine. <laughs> Why? Why is there just not enough information on starting the engine? I do remember that we had to uh, set this active. We can also do SPS thrust direct on in an emergency. I'll think about that. Okay, let's see. How do we look? Moon. Okay, so. Okay. I'm gonna manually orient. They seem to be doing a whole lot of stuff I don't have a checklist for. Just saying. None of this is something I have a checklist for. <laughs> 15 minutes to our burn. Well, I guess we can try and set this. They're already burning. That's right. Well, that's looking sort of retrograde-ish. Oh, now it's not. <laughs> We're uh, one minute and 30 seconds away. It doesn't seem to be turning. This is the opposite direction from what I want. Okay. Yeah, I turned wrong. Let's see if I can do it manually. They're all done already. Okay, um... Let's... Oh, where's the... Oh, the, the, the arrow's over there. Stop doing roll. Okay, external. Oh, it looks okay. like a start. Um, maybe. I want it flat. I don't want to end up with a radial thing. Okay, that's probably okay. All right. SPS thrust direct on. That's a beautiful burn. Well, that's ticking up. <laughs> Fine. Well, I have to vote with a ten crew. That thing is bright. What does our orbit look like? But when I first saw it at that other sun yeah, angle, it, it really looked great. Yeah. We're, uh, we're that's more, that's doing what I wanted to do. I think it's bending the right way. Screw the checklists. <laughs> Just give me direct control, darn it. So, since the counter started out at 3,100 and something, we're expecting to end this at 6,300 and something. Oh, the, no, there is, a, there is a percent. It is ticking down. 
So there is limited fuel, I think. In theory, we should use most of our fuel for this burn because we're carrying the lem as well. The burn to go back to Earth is the same delta V, but since we're not carrying the lem, it'll be less fuel. And of course, delta V, you get more delta V close to the end of the fuel because you're carrying less fuel as well. So that's okay. So I think we're relatively okay. We have captured. As long as we can see the ground under us, I don't need the stars. <laughs> ah, that's good. It's better this way. So the, the key worry right now is I don't want my periapsis to hit the moon. <laughs> right. We took a little bit of... We, we weren't doing the burn particularly accurately because that didn't work out for us. So I just want to make sure that our periapsis stays above the moon. Uh, we are hitting the moon now. Okay, I'll stop it. If I can. <laughs> Switch it back to normal instead of direct. Um, we need to do another CSM burn. And I want it at apoapsis. I want 200 meters per second so that we don't crash into the moon. Okay, fine. Uh, not, not meters, feet. It seems like we have enough margin for this. Not retrograde, prograde. There we go. Okay, so not 300. 100? Yeah, we are. Are we about there? That'll be fine. Uh, in fact, we can get closer. Yeah, that's what I was talking about just a minute ago. That's kind of hard to believe that that's uh, volcanic and formed by some uh, spalding, isn't it? Mm, I don't believe that. Uh, maybe 60 nautical miles is better. That's a perfect straight line. Okay. Let's do this. We are not going to be able to see anything on the moon at Apoapsis. So... We're going to use RCS and figure it out. I don't care about you anymore. Zero delta V. So we're at negative 25.3 nautical miles there. Okay, we're not pointed in the right direction. We're late for the burn, though. Yeah, we sure do. It's still and, uh, reading a negative periapsis. I mean, uh, yeah, no more negative periapsis than before. Okay, that didn't change our orbit at all, so that's actually radial or normal. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> I d it's, it might not be prograde enough, but it's prograde enough for me. All right. Okay, 23 nautical miles. We need a little bit more. I'll take 40. I'll take 40. We got 43%, which is fine. Let's get into a tight orbit now. They did do two lunar orbit insertion burns, so this part, I mean, though their second one was much smaller. That, that'll be fine. There's... Ideally, would not be perfectly circular because of the mass concentrations on the moon. Um, estimated burn length 1 minute and 10 seconds. 
Okay, one minute to ignition. Let's see, what is our situation? That is not what I wanted. Um, we should try and point down would help since we've passed the periapsis. Well, that's sticking down. Oh. Got handled the rest of our CS. Let me see. Uh, orbital. Uh, I don't know where our altitude is now. Well, I think we're in orbit and we're not crashing into it. Fourteen nautical miles. I think we want to lift that up a little bit. Uh, that's probably not deadly. I think we'll be in daylight at our new apoapsis. So that might be alright. We might be able to see the ground. <laughs> There's always these debates about what color it is. Now, can the LEM's power descent work? Can I do anything with the LEM? I haven't even been into the LEM yet. That's a whole other business. 24.6 only? Oh, come on. I think we've taken too long on it though. We've passed Apoapsis by too much, so it's ending up being a radial burn. Uh, I can't see anything. Oh yeah, let's stop. Okay, I think it'll be safe. I think it's still in the safe orbit. I mean, not for very long, but for a time that we need it. 25 nautical miles periapsis. 46.3 kilometers, so not unusual for where I end up at around the moon. Okay, so we will save. And we will see about this tomorrow. It's been a bit of an adventure. I didn't do it quite the way I should have done it, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't think I can get away with this sort of thing with the landing on the moon, though. So hopefully the computer will cooperate with that.